Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be our sniffs video of the January 2024 Bring Back My Bar. Um, so happy with these. <laughs> but before we dive in, hello. Welcome if you're new here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to become a Wickless Charm VIP, the link to my Facebook group is down below. And don't forget to subscribe your email to my Wickless Weekly email newsletter that I send out every week because I have a special perk for new subscribers. Okay guys, that's it. We have a lot of waxes to talk about, so let's just go ahead and dive on in. So if you do not know what Bring Back My Bar is, it's actually a semi-annual event where Scentsy brings back either 20 or 25 retired Scentsy bars for a full month. So we always have a winter and a summer Bring Back My Bar event, and these are not random waxes that return, but these are actually the top voted ones from consultants and customers. And if you missed my video um, last week about my honest opinion of Bring Up My Bar, the past, the current, and the future, I will link it right up here. But in that video, I explained how this was the first time that we've had rules where it was like the only ones that we could vote for were waxes that have not been of, like have not returned their Bring Back My Bar or their catalog within like the last five or so years. So we had a lot of oldies. Most of them I had never even heard of. And it gave a like a fresh 25 bar lineup. Ones that haven't been coming back like every other Bring Back My Bar. So if you missed that video, go check it out. But this video is going to be all about the top 25. So we actually had the top 20 and then our um, interim CEO, Dan Orchard, picked five of the waxes to return. So we have a total of 25. So these waxes are going to be available starting January 1st through the end of January. And they will be eligible for Cincy Club and always get my bar. So if you voted for some of these that are coming back and you know that you need to get them, now that we have the rule that they're not going to be available for Bring Up My Bar for however many years, you definitely need to either start a Scentsy Club or add them to your current Scentsy Club. Because after January, if you have these Bring Up My Bar waxes in your Scentsy Club, they will get a special icon on them, like on the individual bar. And that icon means that they are locked in thanks to our Always Get My Bar perk. So as long as you keep them in your club, they will stay in your club and you will still continue to get them every one, two, or three months, whatever your Cincy club schedule is. So we're going to go in alphabetical order and I'm going to try to not sit here and talk forever about each scent because like I said, there's 25 and these are always super long videos. So please stay with me um, and watch the, to the end of this video. Um, but the first one up is Amaretto. And so this one, I really didn't know what to expect. The only amaretto type thing that I've ever had was like an amaretto sour and I've tried amaretto like coffee syrup, like a coffee flavor before. So all I knew was that it was kind of nutty. And this one is an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. And it definitely smells exactly like what I was expecting. Like it literally smells like the amaretto like coffee that I made that day and then like an amaretto sour. So very nice. I'm excited to warm this. Brandon did not like this, but I'm really excited to warm it. And then up next we have Awakening. So I mentioned in my video the other day that this one sounded really nice. Like it probably sounded like one that was going to be like really fresh. Um, this one is Invigorant since Inv invigorate, invig I can't, invigorate, invigorate, invigorate your senses with an unexpected harmony of white peach and vanilla, pineapple and amber. I, I really like the amber in this. I feel like the amber is definitely taking it away from fruity and making it like that more fresh type of scent. Fresh and clean with a hint of that fruitiness and that pineapple in there. So, very nice. Very excited to warm that one. Most of these I've never had before. So, I was so excited for this random Bring My Bar. Up next we have B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This is Bananas. So, this one is a delicious tropical banana 
mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla, reminiscent of a banana flavored taffy. Okay, so this is, I haven't really, I don't think I've actually read the descriptions of most of these, but that makes a lot of sense that it's supposed to be, it also reminds me of a banana popsicle. You know what I'm talking about. So, very nice. I feel like we get asked for banana scents a lot. Like, I feel like that is one of the scents that I get asked for pretty often, especially like for spring and summertime. And for that, for bananas, the only thing in spring and summer that I could ever think of is Havana Cabana uh, because that has a hint of banana in it. So, nice. Um, up next, we have Blood Orange Spice. And this one was actually one of them that Dan chose. Just in case you're like me and you want to see the packaging, here it is. <laughs> this sweet tart trio of candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. I actually remember this being in a catalog. And I really liked it when it was in catalog. And I feel like this is going to be really good for right now, like the winter time. Very nice. I remember really liking this one. Um, so that's exciting to have it back. Uh, up next, we got Caramel Sugar Cone. This one was also in a catalog of mine forever ago. Uh, this one is guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. So definitely a good bakery scent. This is also a good mixer. Um, this is going to be one of those scents like vanilla bean butter cream and sugar cookie, um, almond croissant, like scents that are like bakery and that you could really add to like any fruity or citrus or any other bakery scent to help give it more of a, like a caramel or vanilla hue. You know what I mean? So, very good. I really liked this one. I feel like I'll probably keep that one or pr probably order some of that for this upcoming spring season. Up uh, next we have Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Brandon didn't like this one either. And I don't know how I feel about it. It reminds me too much of Cinnamon Bear, which is a current scent. And I have never liked Cinnamon Bear because it is just too much like a red hot, like the candy red hot things. This is warm, earthy cinnamon and spices, meddled with a cool burst of crisp peppermint. This is not as bad as Cinnamon Bear. <laughs> if you love Cinnamon Bear, I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Like, I just cannot. I don't know. I might warm this. I mean, I'm going to do my best to warm all of them, like all 25. I always try to do that so that I can really at least say that I tried and get an opinion because a lot of the times waxes are different when warmed than cold stiff. So I don't know about it. It's not my favorite, but I'll try it. Um, up next, we actually have one that is my favorite. So this is cranberry mango. I was very excited for this. I might have voted for this. I bought half. This one is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. I don't know how a pineapple can be spicy, but it's fruity. It's like with that cranberry, like I don't know if I want it to be like a spring and summery fruity scent or like a wintry fruity scent. But I'm excited. I have already made samples out of this because I made my Happy Meal for our Cincy Club subscribers that processed in November. And I made samples out of my top five of the Spring Mama Bar for that. So I have not warmed it, but it is so far one of my favorites. Up next, we have Crazy Coconut. This was also in one of my first catalogs, I believe. It was whenever we had a kids collection. This one is Coconut Milk Mixed Fruit and vanilla ice cream. So definitely, I mean, it is just a hint of fruity coconut, not a hint, but like a throw of fruity coconut. I really like this one. Okay, it's just a really juicy, it's not like pina colada cha-cha, like that has other stuff in it, but like this is just a very juicy, fresh, a, a pure coconut smell. And I love coconut. So, Happy to have this back. Very, very happy to have that one back. Um, up next, we have a licensed one. So we actually have two licensed fragrances in this round of Bring Mama Bar. And the first one is Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. 
I actually voted for the other one from the Toy Story collection. I voted for the Woody one because that one was more of like a a woods, like a sandalwood top smell. And I just remember not being too crazy about this one because it wasn't really that strong. So this one is blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum, plos, plum blossom and sugared raspberry. I feel like the scent description is amazing. I just, it's just not as strong as I want it to be. And it's just not mixed as I want it to be. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's not really my favorite, but I'm definitely going to, like, it's more clean to me than it is fruity. And I feel like with that description, like, I feel like you'd want it to be fruity. I don't know. It's good. Um, I wish the Woody one would have come back because that's what I voted for. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, up next we have the, this is an original Disney scent actually, this is the Twitter Padded. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Is it Twitter Padded or Twitter Pated? Don't know. It's the Bambi scent. This one is spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops, and lush wild moss. So this is a fresh outdoors woodsy but not too woodsy like it's more uh it's more like fresh cut grass if you remember that scent that we have like it's definitely fresh cut grass but with more woods in it and i i really like woods so i'm, I'm happy to see this one back it was in the first it was like in the first disney it was like a disney og whenever we first launched our partnership with disney world um, up next we have everything nice. I was very excited to see this one coming back and then whenever I got it in I smelled it and I was just like, oh, it's not what I remember it smelling like. But this was in my first fall winter catalog from 2017. So it's been a long time and my nose has changed a lot since then. So everything nice, here it is, is sugar spice and everything nice, deep caramel, and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. Maybe it's the pecan. I think it might be the pecan in there. That's just kind of like too much for me personally. Like I remember it having more of everything else. Like the caramel and butter and pumpkin. But I definitely get a lot more of pecan now. So, excited it's back. It's a fall winter scent. Can't wait to warm it. I just don't, don't remember it smelling that pecan-y. <laughs> um, next we have Falling Leaves. I think that this one is brand new to me. Like the name sounds really familiar, familiar but I don't really recognize this. Well, I don't recognize the design of this fragrance. And I don't recognize the actual scent either. So Falling Leaves is an earthy blend of clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. And I love anything woodsy and like painted leaves. You know that scent? I loved that scent. That was in last time's Bring Up My Bar. It has a lot of patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli, you're, you might not like this one. I can do it in small doses because I feel like patchouli is a kind of like a, a cozy, wintry, like a fall wintry scent. But I can't do pure patchouli. So... I like it. <sighs> so woodsy. <laughs> I really like this one. This is following leaves. Um, cannot wait to warm that one. Um, next we have, oh, this is an oldie. This is Frosted Ginger Cookie. I have had this in a Bring My Bar in my Scentsy career. This one is Chewy Brown Sugar Cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. The only thing about this one is that I'm not a fan of ginger like I never have been. And so it's like I want to love this one. And I feel like this is a ginger scent that I can get on board with. But I know like from past Bring Up My Bars and stuff, like it was just never one I really reached for. So I am, over the years, like I'm less of a bakery lover and I'm more of a woods and fresh, fruity, um, and citrus. 
and I just don't really lean, like I don't gravitate towards bakery scents anymore, even though I love bakery scents, but like whenever I'm actually choosing what to warm, um, I feel like I just never, like I like, I really, I do remember really liking this. I remember this having a great performance. It's just not one that I reach for. So, and that's just personal preference. Um, uh, uh, next we have one I was really excited for, but I don't know about it, dude. <laughs> I don't know. This is lavender vanilla. So I expected this to be a classic lavender vanilla, you know, cozy top scent, you know. And this is a relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. Maybe. I think it's the patchouli in this. Like the patchouli in this is just too strong. It does not smell like lavender vanilla to me. It smells like lavender patchouli if i'm being honest like this one would probably probably be really i can't talk probably be really nice as like a perfume or something like that like it's a really feminine smell it's just not what i was wanting it to be whenever i read lavender vanilla to me it's lavender patchouli so i'm gonna warm it i'm not gonna knock it i'm gonna warm it i was just kind of excited for like a pure lavender vanilla but um, up next, we have this one that I might be butchering the name to, Lonicera. Lonicera, please tell me that I'm saying that at least kind of correctly. This one is a, a floral scent. This one is Taste the Sweet Nectar from a Honeysuckle Trumpet as warm amber and patchouli hover above a spring garden. There is a lot of patchouli in this round of Bring Them Up <laughs> Like, which is great, because I feel like that is like a good, um, like, I mean, it mixed well. Like, I feel like it could be good for spring. And it is a really strong note. Like, patchouli is a very strong fragrance note. This is definitely more floral. It reminds me, it's, it's bringing me back to um, Flower Child vibes that was one i never liked at in the beginning and then i actually ended up really liking it it reminds me a lot of the viva la juicy perfume so this is very fresh and clean and it's not too florally to the point where i don't want to warm it because i am very picky whenever it comes to comes to floral scents so i try it it reminds me a lot of flower child uh, up next we have lots of lavender Lots of lavender. This one, I don't know. It's very, very light. This one is a calming blend of chamomile and lavender. I just, I just want it to be stronger. This is going to be one of those scents that if you don't like strong scents, you might really love this. Like if you don't want a very stout fragrance, like maybe you just want a scent that's going to help your home smell. Like it naturally smells that nice. Definitely, maybe try this one because I feel like this one is going to be one of those hidden fragrances. Like it's just going to be one of those that just makes your space smell. Like that's what it naturally smells like. And it's not going to be something that is just very noticeable as, you know, a wax that you're warming or a candle that you're burning. So this is lots of lavender. Um, I will probably, like I will not use that in the open concept part of our home. Like, I'll definitely use that in one of our smaller rooms, like a bedroom or my office, um, since it is lighter. So, that clo more close-up space will help it, uh, you know, not kind of get lost. Um, um, next, we have Peony Petals. I don't think I had ever had this one. Obviously, it is a floral scent. This one is Peony and Rose Petals. Dance on a soft breeze. Very springy. See, this one, I don't know if it's going to be too floral or me for me or not, but I will warm it. I will warm all of these, maybe except one, and we haven't got there yet. Like, it's just, it's very fresh and clean, and if you love floral scents, definitely give this one a try. I personally am not a huge fan of florals. If I want florals, I want scents, um... Like, as my perfumes. But, like, whenever it comes to home fragrance, I don't usually lean towards florals. 
Um, up next, we have red cedar and sage. This one made it in my top five. I actually made samples of this one today. This is a woodsy scent, and I do remember this in a catalog. This one is run free through red cedar, sage, and fresh forest greens. So Brandon definitely liked this one. He said this is a masculine. It's a masculine woods. So it is a woodsy scent that also has a very cologne type feel to it. Very, very nice. So definitely one of my one of my favorites. And then up next we have Simply Patchouli. There's a lot of patchouli in this lineup. So this is the one I said I don't know if I'm going to be able to warm. It's too much. It's too much for me, but it might not be for you. So this one is Dive into the Rich Earthy Scent of Patchouli. This is a powerhouse. Like this scent is a powerhouse. I know that this one came out one year we had like a, a Simply collection where it was like Simply Vanilla, Simply Rose, Simply Patchouli. Uh, pop quiz down below in the comments if you remember what other Simply scents do we have. That was way before my Scentsy time. I don't know. If there's one I don't warm from this collection, it's that one. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't do it. Uh, up next we have Strawberry Sweetie. This was also one that Dan chose and I was very excited for because we love strawberry flavors, scents, strawberry anything. Um, this one is a fruity delight of strawberries sprinkled with sugar and vanilla. And if you love sugared strawberry, which is usually a spring and summer scent, you're going to love this. This, if you also, if you smell the January scent of the month, which is Candy Orchard, and you like it, I feel like you're going to like this. Because this is, it reminds me more of like a candy-like strawberry. Um, a little bit artificial, but like in a good candy type way. Like I feel like this one would be perfect in a Valentine's Day collection, which I cannot wait to see the Valentine's Day collection. Consultants get early access, access to the Valentine's Day stuff on Monday, I think. So very sweet and fruity and candy-like. So if you like scents like that, definitely try that one. We only have five more. Um, up next is one that I did vote for. I knew I did because it sounded right up my alley. It's in one of my top fives. This is one that I made samples of today. This is toasted apple butter. As soon as I saw this on the voting list, I was like, yes, I have to have it. So this one is creamy butter blended with ripe apples, scented with rich spices. And it's everything I wanted to be. I just wish it had more apple in it. I mean, it definitely has it. Brandon said it's strict cinnamon. I do not think it's strict cinnamon at all. I just wish that if I could like just tune up the apple in it, that it would be really, really good. So, oh, so maybe you could warm this with Johnny Appleseed. Like warming that with Johnny Appleseed, that would make a perfect mix. Or maybe even baked apple pie. That would also really help bring out that apple smell. But... Toasted apple butter. I like it. I can't wait to warm it. Cannot wait to warm it. So I'll wait until I warm things until I know uh, if I'm going to actually add it to club because, you know, I got to test out the performance. Um, next, we also have another one of my favorites from this lineup. This is toasted caramel sugar. And I feel like I also voted for this one. Uh, this is warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee all swirled together with the scent of silky sweet vanilla musk. It's delicious. It is so yummy and delicious. I cannot wait to warm this. I cannot wait to warm this. Toasted caramel sugar. So good. So, so good. We only have three more. Um, up next we have Twilight. This one was one I couldn't remember if I've had before. But I was excited to see it back. This one is a lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. So it definitely is more of a floral. But it is also really fresh and clean. So I feel like this is one of those scents that you just have to smell to gather your opinion on. Like there's no way that I can truly explain it. Like it's just one of those smells. It's definitely like a soft, romantic smell 
floral, but clean. Very nice. So I feel like this would be a really good bathroom scent. Um, yeah, so up next we have Vanilla Walnut. I was also very excited for this. This one is a warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. The only reason why I didn't add this to my Scentsy Club mail is because I already had toasted apple butter and toasted caramel sugar. And this one is also in that same, like, <laughs> Like, it's really similar to those two, so I didn't want to do three samples of, like, the same thing. Um, but I really like this one. It's really nice. Really, really nice. And I cannot wait to warm it. So, but last but not least, we have a whipped vanilla pear. This actually made it into one of my favorites. I do not remember if I've had this one in the past. Like, I feel like it sounds familiar, but I do not know for sure if I've had it. Um, this one is a Luxurant Caramel Glaze Topped. Let me read this. A luxurant caramel glaze tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. Like it's like one of those. Like I don't know if they would make this like a bakery scent or not. Um, because really the only bakeriness to it would be that caramel I feel like. and Well I don't know. It's more fruity. I feel like if you love scent. It reminds me a lot of honey pear cider. That's what it reminds me of, but with pear. Very good, very, very good. So if you missed that scent, try out whipped vanilla pear. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is the January 2024 Bring My Bar lineup. Again, these waxes will all be back starting January 1st and through the end of January. These are all gonna be available for regular price. So the ones that are not licensed will be available for $6. Then you can bundle in threes or sixes to save. And then the licensed ones, the um, Buzz Lightyear and the Twitter padded, Twitter padded, <laughs> the Bambi one, um, those will be available for our licensed Cincy Bar price. So $6.50 and you can bundle and save in threes or sixes with other licensed Cincy Bars. So since we do have two licensed ones, we will not have like a... 25 bar bundle um so you can really just create your own three or six packs and i will be doing a video my best of bring my bar where i will probably narrow it down to like 12 um and so just be waiting on that video it might be posted up in january but i will be warming these for the rest of the year and gathering my opinions on what i think the best of these are. But that's it. If you want to pre-order any of these, I will be doing an order list for January 1st. And so you could just find me on social, send me your order there, or you could fill out the Google form link down below and I'll reach out to you to finalize your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is always a long one, but it's a lot of goodies this time, but I will see you in the next one.